You recall the story you heard at the outskirts of the station. You decide to ask the teacher about the missing girl Fuke Yamagishi today. Gekukan High School Faculty Office You came to ask Mr. Okoda about Fuki Yamagishi's disappearance. Someone is already at Mr. Okoda's desk. It's Mitsuru and another student. Oh, Mitsuru Senpai. Why are you here? Same reason as you. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! I... I never thought it'd turn out like this! Fuka... Wait, you're that girl! What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Mitsuru. This isn't an interrogation. Matsuki, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she... She always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. And then... I realized... She's an honor student, but... Deep inside, she's just the same as us. I knew exactly which buttons to push. We were just messing with her that day, too. May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym. And locked the door from the outside. What? You locked her in? That night... Maki returned to school alone. She was afraid we'd get in trouble if Fuka committed suicide, but she never came back. And the next morning... She was found lying on the ground by the gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us went missing, and they each ended up like Maki. I see. By the way, Mr. Ikoda, all this time, you've attributed Yamagishi's absences to illness. But in reality, she was missing. You must have been aware of that. What was your intention? I was thinking of the students, of course. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. You mean you chose not to report this to the police for the good of the class? It... it was in her best interest. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agree. So, to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. How despicable. I... I, I didn't. I... I was just... Uh... About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual before the incidents? Anything at all? <laughs> they all heard a voice. A creepy voice. Right before each of them went missing. They said it was calling their name. Oh, man. Oh, senpai, could it be? It's them. No doubt about it. Until now, there was no way of knowing how or why some people are conscious during the dark hour. But it's the voice. It draws them in. It's not a random phenomenon. This whole thing has made me realize they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are the enemy of mankind. I thought they were our friends! Stay at our dorm tonight. It's the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave the room, no matter what. If you can do that much, you should be okay. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be alright as well. Fuka... Shigami! Iori and Takeba, too. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. T tonight We're going to rescue Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Understood. Kerkukan High School, Student Council Room. Everyone gathered is wearing a stern face. Tonight, we will infiltrate the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, um, I don't get it. Is Fuka inside the school somewhere? And why at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Then, ever since Fuka got locked in the gym, she's been stuck there? That's correct. But that was ten days ago. That means... Not necessarily. We can't jump to conclusions. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So what about the rest of the day? Now that you mention it... This is only a theory, but I think time may function differently with respect to Tartarus. 
So, even though it's been ten days for us, perhaps only ten hours have passed for her. It's possible she's still alive. Wow, you think so? Uh, but the dark hour is pretty brutal. We could barely handle an hour. How's she gonna last ten? That's true. And even if she's still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna let her die then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus exactly how Fuka did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That's the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? Honestly, I have reservations. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... I won't stand by and do nothing if there's a chance we can save her. I'd never forgive myself. If you guys don't want to go, then I'll go by myself. Senpai? All right. We're aware of the risks, but we can't just leave her there. I agree. And we won't know until we try. Cool. We get to sneak into the school. <laughs> In that case, I know just what to do. Huh? The dormitory command room. Everyone is ready to go rescue Fuka Yamagishi. This is a bit worrisome. I can't get a hold of the chairman. I guess we can handle it ourselves. There's one problem, though. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set to go. Set to go? An explosive? <laughs> all right. I'll let you handle this. We don't have time to waste. Let's go. Why would she assume explosive? Maybe translation error or An explosive? Something that only works For real? in Nah. All I did was unlock a door. GeckoCon High School 2F. See, we got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is that really something to brag about? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. We oui. No time for compliments. Let's go. We. Oui. What's the big deal, anyway? Trey Ben? What is that, French? Lousy seniors and their lousy French. Classroom 2F. Uh, can we turn on the lights? Oh, you scared? Uh, no! Stupé. Stop calling me that! Quiet. It's better if we leave them off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. We'll split up into two groups and meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? The faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> Are you planning something unscrupulous under my supervision? If so, then expect to be severely punished. It was a joke. I'd never do something like that. <laughs> Perhaps I'd best take Iori with me to the janitor's room. Head to the faculty office. I leave it to you who to take along with you. Uh, in the male version, you can only take Yukari, so let's take Akihiko. Very well. Then Takeba will accompany us to the janitor's room. We'll meet back up in the main hallway. Main hallway. <laughs> Hold up, someone's coming. The footsteps are getting closer. Who'd be here at this hour? We should hide. The two of you hid behind a pillar. The footsteps faded away. Phew. Just a security guard. Hey, um, how come the security guards are allowed in the school at night? How, how come they, they also don't, uh, get lost in Tartarus? Anyway. What, you thought it might have been a ghost? <laughs> I'm not scared of anything I can't see. In fact, it reminds me of when I was a kid, and we used to hang out in haunted houses to show how tough we were. All right, he's gone. Let's go. No one seems to be in the office at the moment. Faculty office. The two of you search for the key. Here, I found it. The gym storage key. 
I'm gonna be mean to him. Well, what do you mean by that? What, it was just the regular gym key? Uh, oh, I see. <laughs> Akihiko is rummaging through the keys. You spot a key right next to where he's looking. It says Jim on it. Oh, no good. It's not here. Must be in the janitor's room, where Mitsuru and the others went. What are you waiting for? Let's go. I'm mean today. What? I'm telling you, it's not... Uh, oh. How about that? Well, at least we found it. Come on, let's find the others. Tay and Jim Key. They said to meet up at the main hallway, right? We should get going. Mitsuru and the others were already waiting at the entrance hall. Did you find a key? Yeah, piece of cake. We'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour has begun, I'll determine Yamagishi's position. I'll go. You should come too. You can take the lead, like always. Um, then I'll be the third. Wait a second. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. Sweet, thanks. <laughs> Seriously? What's wrong, Yukari? You don't want to stay behind with Mitsuru? Um, no, it's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. Meanwhile, in a vacant room at the dormitory. I... I'm all alone after all. Fuka. Hmm? No! No! I don't want to hear this! Calling me. I... I have to go. Tell her I'm sorry. Fuka. Inside the school, which has become Tartarus during the dark hour, Yukari and Mitsuru are waiting at the entrance. Um... We still haven't heard back from them. The transceiver's sensitivity is set to high, too. Oh, yeah. That girl, Natsuki? I hope she's okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. But we couldn't possibly bring her here, and one of us staying behind was out of the question. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. But we're all here for Fuka's sake. This is Mitsuru. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? Akihiko! Come in, Akihiko! Is he out of range? I'm starting to get worried. It seems you were unconscious. You, you appear to be inside Tartarus, but you don't see Akihiko or Junpei. You can't hear Mitsuru either. Are you awake? This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. <laughs> I told you, remember? I'm always with you, but we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. Okay, then. I hope we can speak again. The mysterious boy disappeared. Communication is breaking up. Are you... Are... Distance too far. Camp backup. You got Ramaki. Communication has been lost. Akihiko and are this floor. Who's there? Are you human?
What? Current look. Reply immediately. Where am I? Why am I here? Please answer me. Hear me? Please answer. Is someone there? Please answer me. She is. You better put and those butler we outfits on right you. now. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. I didn't tell oh, you yeah. to take Did them you off. Did you hear a voice while you were in here? Uh, kind of like... Who is this? Are you human? That's it! That's the voice! It sounded like it came from behind us. Uh, a girl is looking your way from the shadows. Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes. Wow, you're alive. That's awesome. Never fear, June pays here. I'm glad you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Looks like we made the right decision. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. Where are we? I was at school, and then... Well, it's a long story. I'll explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? <laughs> No good. All I hear is static. Oh yeah, are, are you hurt? Have you uh, run into any monsters? So there are strange creatures in here then. I've managed to avoid them so far. Are you serious? How's that possible? Um, it, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you psychic? She has the same power as Mitsuru, maybe even stronger. Since Mitsuru's persona is more battle-oriented. Persona? Hang on to this. Akihiko <gasps> Fuka But... but this is... Think of it as a lucky charm. It's not really a gun. Um, okay? Alright, let's get out of here. Since when are... When, when are there windows in Tartarus? Whoa, check out the moon. I've never seen it so bright. Some research indicates that the shadows are affected by the faces of the moon. Of course, the same can be said for humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Was it? I think so. Why? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked, back in April? I didn't notice. Today is the 8th. The monorail incident happened last month around the same time. And the assault on the dorm was a month before that. They were all during a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? Shadows. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in. Be careful. Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is this thing? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone. Damn it! What's going on? It's one of them. If my guess is right, they come every full moon. We have to hurry. Hey, hey, wait for me! Meanwhile, at the entrance to Tartarus, Mitsuru and Yukari are having trouble against the giant shadows that suddenly appeared, and also the Empress has boob jiggle. Uh, uh, what's going on? Nothing's working! Mitsuru! 
What in the world? Akeiko Senpai, we gotta distract those shadows somehow. I know just how to do it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, we'll give it to you. Be careful. Normal attacks won't work on these shadows. Someone entered the lobby from outside Tartarus. F Fuka, why are you here? More Yamasan? Please get out of here. It's dangerous. I I wanted to tell you I'm sorry. Hey, look out! Moriyama-san! I need to protect her. Fuka put the gun to her temple. Fuka-san? A persona? I can see. I... I can sense these monsters' weaknesses somehow. Just as I thought. Mitsuru, let her take your place. We'll take care of this. I'll try and find out the enemy's weakness. Just let me know when. Okay, just give me some time. Persona! Good choice! The enemy is down! New Moon bonus. Do I have a Getsui on any of my personas by any chance? No. I summon you! Good choice! Here's the a enemy. chance! Let's get him! Get back here, you son of a- Multiple weaknesses. I I didn't know I had this kind of power. Please be careful. Okay, just give me some time. Like strike attacks will work. Good. I've been waiting for this. Okay, now. Just give me some time. I could have just ended it back there, but I wanted to see Fuka do something. Okay, just give me some time. I'm worried about Akihiko Senpai. Didn't realize you were on a first name basis with him yet, Fuka, but okay.
Are there more of them? Don't worry, it's over. Fuka, you... Are you all right? Yeah, thank goodness. Fuka fell unconscious. Fuka? It's all right. She's just exhausted. Fuka? Fuka? I... Where did these two shadows come from? From somewhere outside of Tartarus, just like before. I see. Um, what are we gonna do about Natsuki? She saw the Dark Hour and the shadows. Don't worry, she's not like us, so she won't remember any of it. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the shadows, even though she obviously heard their call. She should be safe from now on. But that means she'll forget Fuka saved her life, right? That doesn't seem fair. Actually, I don't think it'll matter. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. I think she's learned her lesson. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't easy, but you managed to rescue Fuka. You wonder about the mysterious boy who appeared again. His warnings seem to be more than just dreams. You are too exhausted to make any sense of it right now. You decide to rest as soon as you get back to the dorm. Hey, I was thinking. Do you think Mitsuru Senpai saved Fuka because it was the right thing to do? Or was it just because she's a Persona user and we need her? I guess so. Well, whether or not she joins us is up to her. Sorry to bring this up out of the blue. Chug, chug, chug. Sup, dude? Mitsuru Senpai and Akihiko Senpai are going to the hospital to see Fuka today. I wonder how she's doing. Oh, by the way, Ikutsuki-san told me that the antique shop in Polonia Mall is open now. Maybe we should go check it out sometime. 